Well, I managed to give the test prep popo the slip. And as you can tell, I'm definitely not in New England or Michigan. Obviously, I can't tell you where in the world I am, but let's just say that I am safe in a tropical paradise where I'm being spoiled rotten. Gracias, mi amor. De nada. So refreshing. So, let me take this opportunity to give you one of my favorite cheat strategies you will definitely be able to use on the PSAT, SAT, or ACT. It's the E in cheat. Estimate and eliminate. Many of these tests will often give a message beneath a drawing or figure. It says, note, figure not drawn to scale. What most students never stop to think about is, what if there is no message beneath the figure at all? In that case, we can assume that the figure is drawn to scale. And therefore, we can make a reasonable, logical estimation and eliminate any answer that is far off. I should point out here that this strategy works best in the multiple choice section. But let's use this example problem to show you how to cheat by estimation, even if it's a difficult problem. Here's a problem that very few students are able to solve according to the textbook. My best math students have a very hard time with this one, but my lazy math cheaters can estimate this answer quickly and with ease. First, notice that the figure does not say beneath it, note, figure not drawn to scale. So we immediately know that we can estimate an answer. Let's read the question, knowing that we're going to try to cheat. The figure above shows a regular hexagon with sides of length x, and a square with sides of length x. If the area of the hexagon is 381 times the square root of 3 square feet, what is the area in square feet of the square? Now, this is the calculator section, so I recommend letting the calculator do the heavy lifting work here. If this problem were presented on the no calculator section, I would simply estimate the square root of 3 to be approximately 1.7 and do out the math on paper, written out, to get an approximation. It seems like it's going to come out to equal approximately 648-ish. We don't have to be perfect. Now, we just estimate what fraction of the hexagon the square is. I recommend using a range of values. I don't know about you, but I think the square is definitely less than half of that hexagon but maybe a little bit more than one-third. Uh, you can even reflect the square into the hexagon to help you see the fraction, like if you draw it in there. Um, by the way, doing this little drawing connects with our hieroglyphics cheat strategy. So let's take our estimated fractions to get an estimated range of values. So if I take our 648 and divide that by three, one-third, I will get 216 for the low end of the range of values. And if I take the 648 and divide by 2, I'll get 324 for a high end of the range of values. So if our estimations are reasonable, we should get a range of values of 216 to 324. We look at our answers and only one answer falls within that range of values. And that is, in fact, the right answer. Next question, please. Now, if our optional answers values offered were closer together, we would have to be more careful with our estimation, of course. But let's just take our easy money, lazy math answer and move on. <sighs> Listen, the more I am here in this tropical paradise, the lazier I get with my math. So if you want to be my students, you've got to be lazy, and cheat but you better watch your language too and remember to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss my next lazy math and cheat tips cheers <laughs>